My name is David P. Davis, as I go by now in the industry. I am a graduate from 2003. Uh, it was the University of Wales College Newport back then. Uh, I studied film and video. So my current role is working as a creative director for my own independent production company. You know, it involves working with writers, um, working, finding directors, finding the HODs, whether it be costume, makeup, um, sound, production designer, um, and helping as the executive producer, it's kind of, you sort of have the overall creative vision. It's like my role is to protect the creative vision of the show. And so my first job was working for a show called T4. From then I bounced around from, from, from company to company, from TV show to TV show, working on all sorts of non-scripted shows like uh, Trisha Goddard and Blue Peter and Newsround. I ended up getting a job on Holby City. Um, and then I bounced around in the continuing drama system for a while before eventually working on Doctor Who, Electric Dreams. Then I produced, executive produced a show for Bad Wolf here in Cardiff for HBO and the BBC called Industry. Uh, and then I set up my own production company and I am backed by ITV Studios. And I've set it up here in Cardiff as well. When you're in production, like literally every day can be completely different. You could be on location, swimming in the ocean or whatever, filming in the ocean one day and then the next day you're in studio shooting like a kitchen sink scene. So for me, my favourite part of the process is working with writers in developing the format of the show. Literally looking at a blank piece of paper and being able to craft and shape the most wonderful worlds. When I was trying to break into the industry, what I used to do was send just cold call kind of emails, right? Like, you know, you guess email addresses and you send them and you send them. Every six months there was a, a, a producing duo that I absolutely loved. And I used to send them emails. I never, ever, ever once got a response. And then one day I was coming to the end of one of my fixed term contracts. So I sent them another email. Like within half an hour of me sending that email, they emailed me back and said, we're actually looking for an assistant script editor on one of our shows, would you come and meet me? And when I met them the next day, the following week I was working for them. So you just need that perseverance because you never know when your fortunes might change. This pivotal thing happened to me when I was at college where one of my college lecturers kind of told me that, you know, as like a young black kid, this was late 90s, it would be difficult actually to just continually work um, as an actor and to have the roles that I felt meaningful to me. And so he encouraged me to, rather than just studying acting per se, to, to go and study film and video or to try and become a storyteller so that you have the opportunity to, to give other young, black, brown, non-white actors, actors, actresses uh, an opportunity. The one film that is relevant for the University of South Wales and for the whole reason that I'm kind of sat here today is Human Traffic, which was made by Justin Kerrigan, right? That was his name. Um, and the rumour has it, it started off as a short film uh, when he was at the Killian campus. Um, and it was made in Cardiff and it was drum and bass and it was amazing. And when my college tutor told me that I should think about being a filmmaker so I could create amazing story, I had no idea where I wanted to go. I saw that film, I heard that story, I came here.